Hello, Ms. Rem's classes. I am Ms. Rutenberg, and I am going to be showing you how to use Tagzito. It's a program online which will allow you to make word clouds. It's pretty darn cool. You can see one that I have made right on your screen uh, for the book To Kill a Mockingbird. That's our example we're going to do today. Let me share my desktop with you. Okay. The first thing that I did was I found some of the text from To Kill a Mockingbird, as well as some of my favorite uh, sayings from there, such as, you never really understand a person, or it's a sin to kill a mockingbird. And I have those all written out in a word processing program. doesn't matter which one you use. You'll notice that in the second example of this, I have used in between the words of the phrase, tildes. That's the button above your tab key on your keyboard. I've also repeated the phrases several times. When you repeat a phrase or words over and over again, like many times in here, it knows that those are more important, so those are going to be larger in our tagzito when we get it made. If you put the tildes in between the words, it knows to string those all together so that the phrase stays together. It's really cool that way. So let's go to the website. This is www.tagzedo.com. Notice how Tagzedo is spelled T-A-G-X-E-D-O. I'm going to click on the Create button here. If you don't see the Create button, it may be that your browser is not set correctly. You can still click on that or use Chrome browser like I'm doing here. I click Create. And it goes to the Tagzedo Creator. Okay. I'm going to load my text, so I click load. And I forgot to copy it and paste it, so let's do that. Highlight, copy, go back to my web page. I'm not entering a web page address in here, I'm entering text. So I'm going to go to the large box, click in it, and it says below that, hint, use control V to paste. So I'm going to go control V on my keyboard, and I'm going to tell it submit. Tagzito also does some other cool things. If I have two words that are really, really similar, such as sing and sings, it's going to use just one of those. It knows to do that. It also wants to take out little words like and. So I have and in here a couple times. It'll probably take most of those out. Tagzito, I also need to X out of the command boxes. So I'm going to click on the X in the top right corner there. And now I have my phrases in a Tagzito. However, I don't want the shape of South America here, so I'm going to go over to the left and their options and click shape. If I scroll down, I know there's a good picture of a bird right there. It says it's a sparrow, but it's enough like a mockingbird for me. I click on that, and I'm going to X out of the box, and it changes it into a mockingbird shape. Another thing that I want to change here is the theme of this one. These colors don't represent, for me, To Kill a Mockingbird, especially that last part, which happens in the fall and at night. So I'm going to go down here, and I see the theme, Autumn Leaves. I'm going to choose that one. Notice how it's changed it. You can also add and customize your own themes in here. I'll leave you to play with that later. So I'm going to X out of this, and my tagzito looks pretty good. I can change things around. I can re-spin stuff like the layout. And it does its little business here. And it changes the words around. So I look at it and I say, oh, what, what, what do I really want to stand out? If it is good and I like it, I can save it. Let's do one thing before we actually save it. I'm going to go back to load. And I'm going to Get rid of what we have in there now, go back to my Word document, and I'm going to take the phrases that are connected with the tildes and put that in there so you can see the difference. So if I click in there, and I tell it, oops, can't right click, got to control V. Submit. And it's out of that box, and let's see what she comes up with now. Okay. This I might want to spin the layout and the orientation a little bit here until it fills up the head of the bird. 
Okay. So my text that I have, you never really understand a person is nice along the middle, but I'm still not seeing the whole bird. So you can play with it and play with the layout and the orientation and spin these things. Once you get an orientation or a layout or a theme that you like, you can actually lock those. So that's pretty cool. And you can play with it all you like. The nice thing about this is if I go under Options to History and click on that, it shows me all of my examples that I've done. I particularly liked this one. So I'm going to save this one. Once I go to my history and I find the one I want to keep, I tell it Save, which right underneath Load, above Respin. And I say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go with 500Ks here in a JPEG form. And this is to kill a mockingbird. It's about my seventh try playing with this. I can save that one. Says it was successfully saved. I'm going to just do that since I can't connect to any of those other things. I can also go back to my history. And if I had another one that I really liked, I could also save that one. The saved uh, file is the one that you would be sharing with Ms. Rem. So I hope that I get to see some of your tag Zitos if you get to play with this awesome program and uh, do some of those for your upcoming novels that you're reading. So I'm going to quit from sharing my desktop here. Go back to our program. And so once again, it's tagzito.com. Check it out. Play with it. You have a lot of options in there you can customize. I just showed you the very basics. And if it's really an important question that you or Ms. Ram or your peers can't find the answer to, please let her know that you guys are allowed to email me. It's not a problem. And again, I'm Tamara Rutenberg, and Ms. Ram would be happy to give you my email address. Have a great day.